All right, guys, here we go today. We're gonna do a winter painting, and we're gonna be doing the background of our painting, and we're gonna use a thing called value gradation, where we're gonna go from dark blue to light blue. So you're gonna start off, make sure your name's on the back. Uh, we're gonna start, um, you can have a portrait, or you could go landscape if you'd like. I'm gonna show you in portrait mode where the sides are gonna be longer. Um, but we're gonna have blue paint, white paint, and brown. Uh, you're going to be using a larger brush for this first part because we're going to be putting it on pretty thick and heavy throughout the artwork. You're going to start off first of all with blue paint. So you're going to get uh, the blue paint on your large brush and you're going to start right up here and you're going to do a horizontal strip of paint. And I have the messy mat down. And that's going to be very important because you want to go right off the edge of your work. So I'm just doing a little blue strip and just going back and forth and kind of like this is sweeping over top of the paper. And you want to smooth out that paint the best you can. The paper will curl up a little bit, um, but later on we'll flatten it out and it'll be okay, but it might uh, curl up just a little bit as you begin to work. Now the important part now is we don't want to use blue anymore. I have blue on my brush and I'm going to go now into white. So I'm going to put my brush into the white. It's okay if the blue gets into the white. It won't affect it a whole lot. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to start painting with the white and we're going to overlap a little bit into the blue. This is my favorite part because it starts to change and become very light and creamy. Notice how my brush strokes are always going in the same direction. Going this way and that way. I'm never going to go up and down this way because you'll really notice that in your work and we want them to be fairly even. Now I'm not getting any more blue. I'm just going to continue working with white now. Blue is done. Blue is in my brush and there's probably not enough white that it would just be completely white because there's always just a little bit of blue left in the brush. So I'm going to continue painting long brush strokes, not short ones, long all the way across and I'm going to work all the way down to the bottom until it basically fades out into white. can become a little sticky. Notice how I'm holding down here a little bit as I'm working so my paper doesn't move around. And eventually you might get a little bit of paint on your fingers, but this one, oh, there it goes. Um, it looks like this one's pretty much done. But what I can do now is this. I can kind of take a little more paint and I can go back over it trying to smooth this out, okay? Because there might be globs of paint on there we don't want globs, so we're just going to go over top and we're going to smooth out that paint, making sure it's even. Can be a little sticky. It's a different type of paint. I'm just kind of going like this and working it through. Okay. Now what I suggest is that you kind of let it set for a minute or two. Uh, it's going to dry just a little bit and then you'll be ready for the next part, uh, which is adding in some of those limbs from the branches. Okay, so this is one I did a little bit early, uh, earlier, and this one I painted so I could kind of show you. Okay, this one's been drying for a couple minutes. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to start doing some tree limbs on there so I can have my cardinal um, go on it uh, next time. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to do pretty thin lines because I can always go a little bit thicker and when you're doing this you press down a little bit and then at the end I kind of release it so it makes it come to a point okay and they could go all the way across if you really wanted to you know maybe I had a cardinal that was sitting right here uh, we could do more than one cardinal if you notice your your brown paint is mixing with the other ones that's okay a little bit we don't want it to be a lot um, but we just like to go over it a little bit more as we're working here. Now I could have this limb, oh, I had a little drop there. I'm going to actually go with that and go through it up here to kind of fix that. And then maybe it splits out over here to make a tree limb. So I'm just kind of going like this. 
Okay, and smaller as I go out. Maybe I have another bird over here. Maybe I make a little nest over there. Maybe I have another tree limb up top here that goes across. It's really up to you where you want to put your tree limbs. But we want to make that look as natural as possible. Oops, mixing a little bit with the blue. I might need to go back up here and fix that a little bit. And that's okay because it's a neutral color, so it'll go over top just fine. I think I might go all the way over there. All right, so that's kind of the second part. You would continue to add to that. If you have a little extra time, which you could do, uh, some people have done this in the past, you could take your brush on the back side and you could just do a little bit of snow coming down. Don't overdo it. Um, maybe you have a little bit of snow on those limbs right here that's falling down, just, just to kind of add to, uh, to your painting. But it gives a nice little look here at the end as you finish up. Alright guys, that's the first part of our painting. Good luck!